Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Oh my gosh. Welcome back to our Let's Play of The Longing. I, it, the game said wait for a really long time. I, I dreamed about an endless hall with white pillars. Um, and I thought maybe you could, sh I would start recording while the game still says wait. It says wait every, every time I load the game in, it says wait. Uh, this time it's, it said wait for like a good 15 seconds or something. And I think you guys saw a split second of that. This is what we thought. We thought we would see giant mushrooms. Oh, I can matic it? Uh, we'll do that in a moment. We're gonna... Oh, wait. No, I forgot where we are. No, I think we will do that. Um, we're gonna go up. Oh, there's no sound. You will end the absurdity. No, no, no. Uh, I don't know why this happens sometimes. Hold on. I gotta bring the sound back. Uh, and this is the kind of game where I, I would usually load in a game... And if the sound's not working, um, reset the sound. There we go. You ended the absurdity. I don't know why. You really didn't need to. Harvest. All right, this one glows. Let's plant it. Um, we want to go up. Can I inspect that mushroom? Oh, that's the one I just planted, I think. Yeah. I don't want to use the mattock on another one of those just to destroy it. That was really cool. Whoops. What was that? Oh, just uh, hitting escape. Harvest. Uh, please. Please to harvest. Grow it. There are a lot of mushrooms now. Um, yeah, we want to go up. We want to go up to see if... Now there might be another giant mushroom that we can climb. As you can see, it's been about a week since we last played. Oh uh, yeah, grow that. Pick up another one here. Please. Yeah, grow it. Uh, yeah, come up this way, I think. Actually, let's let's look a little to the left. So I think this episode, we're going to play around with these mushrooms. We're going to see if maybe a mushroom has grown up the where we want it to grow up. And then, you know, we don't really have a lot of other places to go. The only thing that we know that we can do um, is get enough coal to satisfy one of the faces quest a uh, request um and that's to get 100 coal uh he also requested or it also requested three coins we have no idea where to get three coins it requested seven disappointments we have no idea where to get another disappointment so yeah, maybe we should bring a glowing mushroom in here but i'm glad we can grow some of the bigger ones are growing nothing we can do here right okay I mean, I guess I might as well replant this green one. Why am not... It's not picking up when I click it. Oh, uh, yeah. Grow it. Okay. So, um... And, and people have been commenting um, helpful things. Uh, and I'm pretty sure... You know, we've been looking for the uh, the last piece of wood to be able to make our bed. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to do that until we can get up to the next area. We have 72 coal. We're almost at 100. I mean, almost is a relative word, but we could just go to the coal mines and just start mining out coal. It would take a long time. It, it takes a while. Does it, does it take like 20 minutes to mine out five coal? Is that true? Uh, we're probably better off... Uh, I'm like, we, we tested it once. We might be better off just... 
picking up coal wherever we see it and making a concerted, concerted effort to do so. But if we can get 100 coal, that might... It possible it might unlock something? Possible. But right now, I think we're just eager to see if anything else has grown up here. Keep going. Pitter pat, little shade, pitter pat. Uh, but we could mine out more coal if there's nothing else to do. <laughs> If we're really stuck, we can do that. Keep going. All right, so we saw two huge mushrooms growing down below. Maybe we'll get lucky with that over here. And it's interesting because that was um, that was all pink mushrooms in that area. Very good. Uh, plop. I suppose we should save uh, this place as a checkpoint. Come on, big mushrooms. Come on, big mushrooms. That's disappointing. That's very disappointing. Maybe we need a green one over here. Could that be it? Could that be the case? We just need a green one? I don't know what else we could do. You know what? We'll just eat it. Oh, we got... Oh, his eyes! We're going to get another dream? Another dream? Oh... All right, he's over the mine. So a few reasons this probably isn't us. Our nose is pointy. His is round. He has a tail. We don't. But who knows what kind of transformations might have occurred. Yeah, we're obvious. This is where we are. We're down in here. What a strange and beautiful dream. Quite. I think we need to bring a green mushroom up here. I don't know what else to do. Then maybe we need it and maybe we need it right where that one is. All right, so we know that um even glowing ones when we eat them look, we're glowing even though we just put that one back. I think that's a bug. Let's just eat this one. Cuz this is where I want to plant a green one, I think. We just need to get another green one. How many mushrooms does it take to get a hallucination? I think we plant... If we just replant and eat... Like this one we replant. And then we eat another one. Eat it. Alright, that's two. I hope it's three. I hope it's every three. All right, we got to get a green one and bring it up. Um, I should have saved it, but let's... Oh, I did save it. It's right there. <laughs> All right, just replanted a couple of green ones, but I'm pretty sure... Look, you can already see it right there. Um, pretty sure there's more where that came from. And we'll bring a green one and put it right right against the wall and hope it grows big. Because I think those big ones, they may, we certainly planted green ones around that area. And I'm thinking maybe that's what happened. I was thinking maybe there are three different types of mushrooms, but maybe it's just that the small green ones grow into the big ones. And become a little less green, a little more pale. Oh, um... Was that there? Or did I replant that? Well, we're going to grab it. I think it was here. I think I just didn't do touch it. 
Yeah, harvest. Perfect. And we're going to bring that up. Go, uh... Go there. Cool, cool. Yeah, I want more dreams. All right. It's possible that... I mean, eventually they would run out of dreams. If, like, every three mushrooms we get one, or every five, or whatever. Eventually we'd run out. I can't pick up any coal, I think, while I'm eating the mushroom. I mean, while I'm... <laughs> yeah, while I'm carrying the mushroom. It's exciting. I think this might be it. I think... I don't know how long it's going to take to grow into a big one. But hopefully we have time. We haven't been back to our base to see the horse head. But I think it probably just makes time grow by a lot faster. And we don't... We don't want that right now. Someone commented that it was going to take another 200 days at this point. Uh, or 200 episodes, rather. 200 episodes. But like... That doesn't really track. I mean, we just don't have enough time. We only have 60 real-time days. And if I only play three episodes a week, it's going to take, um, let's see, after seven weeks. After, no, after, what, 14 weeks? That's about it. 15 weeks? After 15 weeks... I don't know. I can't do math in my head. <laughs> Let's get this right up to it. Yeah, grow it. Okay. Hopefully that's what we needed to do. Hopefully that's what we needed to do. Uh, let's go back to where these mushrooms are and try to hallucinate. And I don't know how much time. Unfortunately, this is the first episode um, I'm playing this weekend. And if it takes like a long time for it to grow. If it takes like half an hour for it to grow, that's no problem. But if it takes um, quite a while, well, I guess we could go back down to our base and let time pass that way. In between my episodes. That's true. Just makes me nervous about time passing by quickly. But yeah, I could then in this episode by going to our home. And then starting the next episode in the home. You know, like half an hour of real time later. Or ish, an hour of real time. And see how much time has passed. It would probably be like a day or something like that. No, it would probably be like six hours. Which might be enough time. Maybe. I don't know. But then we'd walk... We'd basically have to spend an episode walking up to the mushroom area. Which would be a little tedious, but... Not the worst. I have not thought about more topics of discussion. I just have not. We can always talk about more film. Always. It's a never-ending topic of conversation. We could also talk about politics, although uh, I'm certain that there are people that watch that are not going to be on the same side of the political spectrum as I. Um, the same goes with faith. Faith is always a little touchy to talk about. I love talking about faith and politics, but people get people have feelings about faith. I, you know, I feel like. Um, I feel like most people are pretty cool about it, but sometimes people are not. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've talked about my faith before, and I think I've mentioned in this series that there... I think I've mentioned that there was another series where I talked a lot about my faith. Um, but... Yeah, we could talk about it a bit. Why not? I So I am, if you don't know, um, a Messianic Jew. And what that means is that I'm I'm Jewish, right? I'm, I'm ethnically Jewish. My I'm a descendant of, you know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Oh, can I get that uh, piece of coal? Oh, I'm going to eat the mushroom and then get it. 
Oh, okay. We're gonna dream first. Okay, enough about my faith. Let's watch this. <laughs> okay, here's the old man. These dreams are very short. Okay. Did the little boy go down there? Don't know what's... Okay. All right, we're going to replant. I just wonder that coal. Harvest. Uh, so, yeah. So, I'm uh, ethnically Jewish. Um, I believe in uh, the scriptures. I believe in in Torah and the Tanakh, um, you know, the Old Testament. Um, I believe I believe it's true. I believe scripture is true. I believe there is a God. I believe everything that scripture says is 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 true. Um, and, you know, that God handed down his word on Mount Sinai, etc. Uh, and I also believe the New Testament. I believe which we call the Berit Chadashah or the New Covenant. Um, I'm going to plant a second one here because I um, kind of messed up by eating that one too quickly. Can I get that coal, though? No, pick it up. Pick up the coal. Ah, it's gone. Um, uh, so, yeah. So, it's kind of like... Um, so, yeah, I'm Jewish, I, and I'm observant. Um, I believe that the law in the Torah and Tanakh um, does apply to me because I am Jewish. And so I, I try to observe uh, those laws. Um, and, you know, in the New Testament, you know, a lot of, like, the reason, uh, quote-unquote, Christians don't follow the laws of the Tanakh, per se, are because there's, a, you know, and this is, um, maybe you know this already, but I'm just telling you in case you, you're not familiar, um, you know, at a certain point when, uh, I'm going to eat this one, when uh, the apostles were asking themselves, um, do we bring this, like, do we, uh, do we allow non-Jews to have this salvation that we have? Um, and the answer was yes. And then they said, but do, okay, so do they have to, like, follow all the same laws that we do? And the answer was no, they don't. Uh, they just have to follow a few basic laws, which are called the Noahide laws, um, which are basically four, four basic things, um, don't, uh, which are some of which might escape me. Don't drink blood. Um, no sexual immorality. Um, murder, I think. I don't. I don't remember exactly. I don't remember offhand. Um, but, uh, but yeah. So, but they were not. They did not have to like keep the same dietary laws. Um, there are just a lot of things. They don't have to observe the same holidays, etc. Um, then this is this is in scripture. This is in the New Testament. But me as a Jew, I still do. I still observe my holidays. I still um, I want to grow this somewhere. I still you know don't eat pork or shellfish. You know I keep um, uh, biblically kosher. Um, but I also there's nowhere to grow this. We're just gonna eat it. Yes, here's another dream. Dreams galore. Oh, so cute. We're like a combination of that old man and the kid. Wait, is this the same dream that we had the first time? It is. This is the same dream. All right, we're recycling dreams now. We've run out of dreams. That's too bad. Too bad. Hmm. All right, so no point in eating those mushrooms anymore. Although we could eat more green ones and make ourselves sick. Yeah, but you've had that dream. I will keep planting. And do we matic out that other big mushroom? Maybe. Let's see if we can get this coal. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it. I believe, I believe the New Testament is true. I, I observe as a Jew. I go to synagogue. I don't go to church. Sorry, this game is frozen a little bit. Um, I, I I observe Shabbat on Friday night, you know, um, all the things. 
Um, I will say that there are not, you know, I'm not, I don't observe like an Orthodox Jew. Um, so I, there's a lot of, and again, maybe you know this, maybe you are Orthodox. Um, I'm just, this is a very baseline explanation for uh, laymen. Um, you know, if you, or, you know, just people that don't know anything about this stuff, I'm going to want to simplify it. Um, uh, Orthodox Jews usually believe not just in the Tanakh, not just the written word, but also in Halakha, in like the, um, in this orally passed down uh, law. Um, and they also believe strongly in the Talmud, which is um, biblical commentary, uh, commentary on the Tanakh, the Tanakh being the, the Old Testament. And, um, and uh, by, by great rabbinic sages, um, starting with like the early starting with like uh the first century a.d through like the middle ages um i think we will matic this out <laughs> we didn't get to hear that before so and the absurdity um yeah so i think we're gonna head back i think we're gonna end this end this episode by heading back to our home but I should give you, let me, let me see if I can end at a good place here. Cause I started talking about my faith, but barely got into it. Um, but anyway, I, so I don't believe, I don't follow the halakha. There, there's an Orthodox tradition to quote, you know, this is a, a saying to keep a fence around the Torah. So basically like, because there's, you want to be sure that you're following God's will, God's law. Um, you don't just say like, oh, well, I think this is what God means. You want to be absolutely sure that um that you're being uh that you that you that you're not violating god's god's law so uh a very classic example of this is um eating milk and cheese orthodox don't eat dairy and milk together i'm sorry dairy and meat together um they keep separate plates for that uh there are all kinds of rules and traditions about like keeping separate plates, uh, separate fridges, like just an, an amount of time that you have to wait before you eat dairy versus eating meat. Um, and that comes from a law that's mentioned a couple of times in the Torah about not boiling a calf in its mother's milk. Um, so, you know, you could just take that at face value and say, well, I'm not going to boil a calf in, in its mother's milk. Um, which, uh, you know, I believe that was a, a practice that the Canaanites practiced. Um, Canaanites being a, a people that God was very upset with for, you know, having all the all kinds of abomina abominable practices um, and uh, whose land uh, Eretz Yisrael now sits in. Um, and this was a very long time ago that these people existed and they are, they're, very, they're long gone. But um, they... Uh, they had this practice of boiling calves in its mother's milk. Um, I, I think, uh, is, is the, uh, historical, um, consensus. And, uh, and so God was telling the Jews, like, just don't, don't do that. That's cruel. But, you know, people want to be sure. So the fence around the Torah is to say, like, may, like, maybe, uh, we're going to, like, take that the extra mile. And just to make sure, um, we're doing what God wants us to do. We're not misinterpreting the uh, God's intent here. We're just not going to eat any dairy and milk together. Um, and that's where that comes from. I don't follow that. I will eat a cheeseburger. Um, I won't boil a calf in its mother's milk. That would be a violation. I don't keep as wide a fence around the Torah. Um, I think personally that like when God said that, that that's what he meant. That's what he meant, and um, I don't need to, I mean, I should think about it, but I'm, I don't need to, like, be, I don't need to walk on eggshells around God. Um, but I think part of why maybe Messianic Jews like me tend to believe that, not everyone, some Messianic Jews do follow a more orthodox practice. Um, but I think there are a lot like me that are a little more... Um, that just don't follow that fence. That oh, don't keep as wide a fence around the Torah, um, because we also have Messiah, which I think we want to end this episode. Um, so I think maybe next episode we talk a little about Messiah. How about that? Um, and hopefully you're comfortable with that conversation. Let's go back to our home, 
And I'm going to play another episode of something and then come back to this. I enjoyed... No, we're going to get that piece of coal and then we're going to do it. Because we won 100 coal. Yeah. Nope. Go there. All right. I enjoyed playing with you today and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.